Hi, I'm Paula Storm. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Okay, so it's time to work on the spinning star block. Thank you for joining us again, Heather. No, cups, Paula. All right, now this is the block that we've had the most views, the most shares, the most comments, and the most people join the group to do this actual block. So thank you so much for that. I really love this block, and I'm so glad that you, do, you guys do too. All right, now this blog, tell us what you decided to do with this one. Okay, this particular block, um, it didn't need a lot of crazy out there courting because the star's the hero. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, so basically what I did is, once again, I ditch quilted it. Now, this particular one, I started along the bottom of it. Okay. And I came along and ditch quilted all the way this way. Sure. Okay, and then at, when I came back, I went across the top exactly the same. So the only bit that wasn't ditched down were these centre bits. Okay, so you left the middle entirely. Yes. Okay, now I just want to mention we had a, a little bit of a camera problem, so we've actually had to come and do this video again. So there is some quilting already done on this block, so we're actually going to focus on this one now. Um, as Heather said, she wouldn't have used this variegated thread on this colour block um, because it just jumps out too much. So you yes. use the the grey thread. Yeah. yeah, so on the background I had my grey thread and um, actually that's all I did. Yeah. Well, did this one have the channel on it? It did have the channel. Okay, so I would have come in with the variegated thread to do the channel on that one. Okay, okay. so let's show us where you started. Okay, so this is the bit that I stitched just before um, when the video failed. Now just, these aren't joined, I've just actually laid two blocks together just yes. to, to show this demo. That was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little bit puffy, it's, it's sitting a bit, up a little yeah. bit, that's my fault because I haven't joined these blocks. Okay, mm -hmm. so this one I just come around with a quarter inch channel and then I've just done my up and down um, matchstick type quilting just to push that down in the middle. So it was just a simple up and down. Okay, so they're a lot closer together than we've done on previous yes. blocks. So they're really about an eighth of an inch apart, more than the quarter inch apart like yeah. before. So it's just giving some interest, it's not over the top, it's not swirls, it's not bubbles, it, it's, it's just a quilting design that's just going to mush that centre down for me basically. Yeah. So really flattening it so the star really pops yes. out. Yeah. Okay. So that was in the diamonds in between all of the blocks. So sure. when I saw this, this was a really exciting row uh, because these great big stars were the hero, but then I had this negative space here that yeah. I could really play with. So rather than whacking something rectangular in, I made the diamond in the middle and then extended a, a triangle out into these guys here. Okay. So if, uh, and quite a few have actually decided to um, create this block into a quilt. So all of the quilt is covered with these stars. Yes. So they could yeah. actually repeat this design yes. down here and yes. create little blocks and yeah, stuff Yeah, absolutely. There. There's a lady in the group. I've seen her quilt. Yeah, it's amazing. It. And that would be so much fun to quilt. So it would yeah. just be extending and you, it's going to create diamonds yes. through that quilt if she wanted to do this design. Yeah. You should do that design. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's it. You have to. <laughs> All right. Now, how did you deal with the centre of the star? Okay. So with the centre on this one, um, it was just, I didn't want to need a channel because it was a small piece anyway. So this one just got ditch quilted. Okay, so the channel only actually happened around the outside of the star, so you didn't channel in no, here at all? No. Okay. Okay. So this one, you could use your ruler. Um, because it is such small, small little pieces here, I find it easy enough just to go around without the ruler. Okay. okay. And this is in my lovely grey matching thread that matched the grey yes. fabric. Yep. Okay. And then once again, he was just doing the little matchstick designs up and down, up and down. Just to push that down. Okay, remembering I've used a lovely polyester on your quilt. Yeah. So it made the star really puff out beautifully. Yeah. So as you said, polyester is not a dirty word anymore. If you use the beautiful um, quality batting. Quality batting. Yeah, yes. so our, our preferred batting is by Matilda's Own. It's Australian made um, brand and it really makes that puff up really well. So that was pretty much all you did on this quilt. Yes. I think maybe did we repeat this kind of design, but yes. just in there. So yep. So yeah, it had the quarter inch channel and it had the matchsticks. Yep. Um, and in the rectangles, we had a quarter inch channel, a half inch channel, a quarter inch channel, and then matchsticks. 
again. Fantastic. So I'll just give that little bit of a try all through there. Absolutely. And again, repeating the designs to yes, create... Can, can, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I, once again, have a look on the blog if you need to, to get the PDF. It will show you the exact designs in uh, life size. So if you need to, you can print them out and even draw yourself on some guidelines. So thank you, Heather. You're we'll welcome. see you again next week for the Seminole Road. Lovely.